All right, what do we got here, Cam? We've got a pound of hamburger meat. Mm -hmm. We're cook it up for some Mexican spaghetti. Ooh. We're going to add in a small onion that we've chopped. Mm -hmm. And let this brown. All right, that looks good and okay, cooked. Now our hamburger and onions are cooked. You're going to add in one tablespoon of chili powder. Okay. This is going to be your homemade taco seasoning. Okay. Okay, then it's a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of salt. And most of you will probably say, oh, I'll just go buy taco seasoning. And that's true, but we thought we would try this We're out. We're keeping it organic and fresh here. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. A half a teaspoon of paprika. Mmm. I need to probably stir that. Now I'm looking like taco seasoning. It is. Okay, then a fourth teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. Onion powder. Mm -hmm. A fourth teaspoon garlic powder. Okay. A fourth teaspoon of red pepper. Don't get much of that. Fourth teaspoon of oregano. Did you know oregano would have been in top of I didn't. I didn't either. Okay. Now just make sure all that is blended. We're going to add in a can of Rotel Original. Mm -hmm. We've got original this time instead of mild and a can of tomato sauce. Just the eight ounce mm -hmm. Now we're going to bring this to a bowl. But we're gonna add in one more item. Three and three fourths cup of water. Okay. And we're gonna turn, this is a one pan Mexican spaghetti. So we're gonna turn this up to high where it'll start boiling. All right, that looks nice and bubbly. Okay, once it has come to a bowl, mm -hmm. you're going to add in eight ounces of spaghetti. And it does say break it in half. Okay. Doesn't matter what kind of spaghetti, you're no, right? No, no, it can be thin, it can be regular. Watch how strong Kim is. Yeah, spaghetti is not. And the key to it is make sure that all of the liquid is covering your spaghetti noodles. Mm -hmm. So we'll just kind of spread it out a little bit there. You're gonna reduce your heat to medium low mm -hmm. and put a lid on it. Mm -hmm. And then check on it ever so often. Okay. Wow. We have one pot spaghetti. Now mm -hmm. the last step is take some cheddar cheese or I've got Fiesta blend. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna dump about three fourths cup, maybe a cup in there. Mm -hmm. Leave the rest of it for you to top on your individual plates. And just kind of stir this in and you're ready for lunch. This one's gonna be really good. And let it cool a minute and we'll have our taste tester see if we made a good Mexican spaghetti. Okay. Okay, let's. Cheese is already melted in there real good. Tyler, let me give you a little extra, you want a little extra cheese yes, on Yes, it looks like a good bite to me. Okay. <laughs> Tyler, blow on that for a second. It is hot. That's really good. You love it? It just tastes like a taco with spaghetti noodles. Hey! There we go, folks. One pan.